With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So we are given with a question which says two disc of moment of inertia 9 kg meter square and 3 kg meter square were rotating with angular velocity 6 radian per second and 10 radian per second respectively in the same direction. They are brought together gently to move with same angular velocity. So we need to calculate loss of kinetic energy in joules. All right. So we have been given with a situation something uh, we can uh, depict two cases over here. As we can see, in the first case, uh, the disc is rotating uh, with the angular velocity omega 1 and in the second, uh, second disc is rotating with angular velocity omega 2 and having a moment of inertia i2. All right. Uh, in the second part of the question, it says both are combined and we can uh, look over this case. So let's suppose that this is our second part of the question and this too is the first part of the question. So we are interested in finding the loss in kinetic energy so first let's try to calculate the initial kinetic energy so for that we will write initial kinetic energy will be nothing but kinetic energy due to this first disc and plus kinetic energy due to the second disc so we will write for first disc we can write half i i1 omega 1 square is the kinetic energy of the first disc plus of half i2 omega 2 square that is a second uh, disc kinetic energy so we will just substitute the value and we will get the uh, value of kinetic energy initial. So half into I1 has been given as to be 9 and it has been rotating with a uh, angular velocity of 6 radian per second. So it comes out to 36 plus of half into I2 has been given to be as, as uh, 3 and this is 10 so 100. So uh, from here we can say this value comes out to be 18 into 9. 162 plus of uh, this is 50 into 3 150 and that comes out to be 312 joule so this is the initial kinetic energy of the system now let's uh, move on to the second part of the question in the second part we can see uh, now both the disc has been uh, brought together uh, and they are now moving with the same angular velocity omega so uh, in this case what we are going to do uh, the entire from first case to second case we can see uh, momentum angular momentum will be conserved in this case as there is no external torque acting so uh, we can write uh, by conservation of angular momentum we can write i1 omega 1 plus of i2 omega 2 that is initial uh, angular momentum will be equals to the final angular momentum that is i1 plus i2 both are combined and they are both moving with the same uh, angular velocity and we are we have supposed it as to be omega so therefore from here the value of omega can be written as i1 omega 1 plus i2 omega 2 and dividing it by i1 plus of i2 so here itself we will calculate its value i1 is been given 9 into 6 plus of uh, this is 3 into 10 divided by i1 has been given as 9 plus of 3 so this comes out to be uh, 54 80 84 by 12 that is 7 so 7 radian per second is the angular velocity when both the discs are combined or connected together so uh, therefore from here we can calculate the kinetic energy final that is half i 1 plus i 2 into omega square as it as both the discs are moving with common angular velocity so we will substitute its value i 1 plus i 2 is 12 into omega we have calculated 7 so uh, 49 so this value comes out to be uh, 294 joules all right so uh, we can say loss in kinetic energy this loss is due to mainly due to friction so we will write loss in kinetic energy will be kinetic energy initial minus kinetic energy final all right so from here 
uh, initial value was 312 minus of 294 so value comes out to be uh, 18 joule all right so 18 joule is the right answer to this question so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today